Even though the weather is getting colder, there are still things that we can do to help our pollinators. I'm going to show you how to make a bee house out of recycled materials, and this will make a really useful home for some types of solitary bees known as cavity nesting bees. Rather than living in hives or underground burrows, these bees nest in houses above ground, making their cells from different materials other than wax. To make your bee house, you will need a waterproof container, some wool material like wool, scissors, air drying clay, a ruler and a pen, some string or wire, and some hollow tubes cut to 15 centimeters. First, I need to mark 18 centimeters from the bottom of my bottle. And then I'm gonna use scissors to cut the top off. Now this can be quite tricky, so please ask an adult if you need some help. Now we have the casing of our house. I just need to put some air dry clay into the bottom. Now, if you can't find this, don't worry, some sticky mud will do the job as well. Next, I'm going to fill the space with these bamboo canes, which are about 15 centimeters long. And as you can see, they are hollow, and this is so the bee can crawl inside and lay its eggs. And it's really cool because the female bee will gather up pollen and stick it together with nectar, making a little ball, and then lay the egg on top of that so that when the egg hatches, the larvae has enough energy from the pollen to transform into an adult bee. Now the female bee will divide up these bamboo canes into different cells, building a little wall between each one. And I've just stuck these together with some wool so it's going to be easier for me to put into my bee house. So just press it down into the clay. If you don't have bamboo canes, don't worry. You can use dried flower stems like cow parsley or even paper straws. I then need to fill the space between the tubes and the bottle with some warm fabric. Now I'm going to use wool, but you can use anything like an old jumper or even cardboard. Just make sure it's a really snug fit. And then finally, we just need to wrap some string around our bee house so that we can hang it. Now these are fantastic for both cities and the countryside. You want to hang it at least one metre above the ground and against a sunny southern facing wall. Even better, put it next to some wildflowers because solitary bees are phenomenal pollinators. In fact, a single red mason bee can pollinate the same amount as 120 worker honeybees. If the weather gets colder than minus five degrees, then take your bee house down and store it in a cool, dry place. Remember to put it back up in the middle of February or after the cold weather has passed. A waterproof container, some wool material like wool, scissors, air drying clay, a ruler and a pen, some string or wire and some hollow tubes. I'd love to see your bee houses, so make sure you share your images online using the hashtag growwild. Thank you.